Through the Mahoning Valley, one group says it's a realistic possibility. 27 First News reporter Matt Horn joins us live in the studio to explain what this may mean for you. Matt? Hi, Erica. All aboard Ohio and all aboard Erie are working hand in hand to bring service to the area. But before passenger rail comes to the valley, money needs to be raised to find out how much it will actually benefit people in the area. Across Youngstown, railroad tracks run throughout the city. For decades, they've been used for freight trains, but the push for passenger trains may eventually be a reality. This is a grassroots movement. We're here because it's it's up to the people of Youngstown and of Erie, Pennsylvania to make this happen. And we believe that the that it can happen. The ideal service would go from Erie, Pennsylvania over into Ashtabula and then south into Youngstown. And it would eventually go through Newcastle and end in Pennsylvania. All aboard Erie's Brian Pitzer is going around to different communities across the region to get the word out. If you look at the future and you, and you decide what kind of future do we want to have, it certainly would include high-speed rail. Other parts of Ohio have pushed for passenger rail in recent years. The Buckeye State lost $400 million in federal funding in 2010 after Governor John Kasich said he wouldn't support passenger train service in the state. The hundreds of millions of dollars then went to help funding in a number of other states across the country. Pitzer says if the current plan succeeds, and if they could raise the money, it would be difficult for politics to put an end to the process. It has the potential to become an important hub for high-speed rail, and we're talking 110 miles per hour, potentially. But before any building takes place, the group will have to raise $25,000 for an initial study to see where the trains would go and if they could use existing tracks or if they'd have to build new ones. Now, a process like this won't happen overnight, and there is still a chance the passenger service would, in fact, bypass Youngstown. Now, there are a lot of questions that will go unanswered until the survey is completed, if then the amount of money is raised. Erica?